YouTube, what is up guys? Today I'm going to teach you the trick slack trapeze. Here's what it looks like. And one more time. Okay, so this trick is not really that hard and it's actually a whole lot of fun. The only thing you need to know how to do going into this is a regular trapeze. And you're going to want to be using, sorry, my pants are falling down. <laughs> you're going to want to be using a uh, unresponsive yo-yo. You don't have to. You can do it on a responsive, but when you're first learning this, you have a lot more chance of it snagging and whacking you in the knuckles. So what you're going to do is you're going to throw a trapeze, um, and then you're going to pop it back off similar to like as if you were going like this. But you're just going to let it kind of stay there. Now we're pinching the string. So I got the string pinched right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it over like this, okay? Now you want this first string, the one farthest away from your body. See if I have like a loop, you know, I'm going to call this string one and this string two. We're gonna, we want string one to hit the yo-yo and then catch it like that. And then you just throw everything over and you're right back into a regular trapeze. Okay, so we're here. We're there. Now we're just pinching it. Okay, then when, all you got to do to this is you throw it over and then the trick is right when the string hits it, just slightly let the yo let the yo-yo fall down. Meaning like, okay, so it's like meaning, so right when I right when I throw this over, right when it's about to hit it, I let it fall down like that much. Just a little bit, just like an inch or two. And it'll be more more than enough. Okay? So we're here, pop it off, pinch it, I'm gonna throw it and let it kind of fall into it. Okay, then to dismount it, you just throw everything over your non-throw arm and back into the middle. And look, now we're right back into a regular trapeze. So you can do it as a repeater. You can keep doing it over and over again to practice it, to get more consistent with it. But the trick to this, it, the trick to this trick <laughs> is really just um, like letting, timing it. Uh, when you throw it too, you want to kind of like finesse it nice and easy. Don't, don't go here. Don't, don't try to like you know, just whip the crap out of it. It won't look as nice, and it'll actually be less consistent. Uh, also, too, use, uh, make sure your strings have good string tension. Use, you know, good quality strings if you can. Try to get your hands on some zip lines or whatever, but um, any good strings will be fine, uh, as long as you have good string tension. Uh, but your string tension will really matter on this. And this is just uh, a whole lot of fun. Uh, you can add it into your combos and uh, whatnot. So here, let me show you just some different angles. Okay, so we're here, we're going to pop it up, and now we're just pinching it. I'm going to throw it over and then slowly let it just drop a little bit. To dismount, just throw everything over to our right, and we're right back in a regular trapeze. One more time. Throw it over, boom, let it fall. Okay, I'll show you this side, maybe this side a little bit will see better. It'll be kind of coming at you. Okay, so we're here, right there. And then just throw everything over to the right. And then you're right back in a regular old trapeze. Yeah, so this trick, there's only two there's only two or three steps to it. Step one, throw a trapeze. Step two, take it off. Step three, throw it over. And step four, let it fall. I guess and then step five is the dismount. So yeah, there's only a couple steps to this. Uh, and I got my faith in all you guys that you should be able to do this. Now uh, let me just show it in Salomo. And that will really probably help the most. But this is just a trick. Uh, it's just going to take a little practice getting the timing down and how do uh Drop it, but literally, I'm just dropping it like that much. Like, that much. Like, it's not much at all. Um, so, yeah, you can actually, some, if you can even, and also do when I'm starting it, I only, I'm, I'm pretty close to the OU. Don't try to start it, like, way down here, and then drop it. It's going to be impossible. You want to be really, really close. So when you do your first initial trapeze, keep the yo-yo fairly close to your non-throw hand. Because um, that'll make it easier It'll also make it easier to get it accurately, too, because there's less room for the string to miss it. And then, yeah, the dismount is super easy. Um, so, yeah, let me show you slow mos in every angle, but I got all my faith in you. You should all be able to do this.
right guys, that really is probably the most basic slack trick from there. Uh, the possibilities are really endless. You can move on to things like Yuki slacks or, uh, you know, really whatever. Just get as creative as you want. Um, you know, you can do green triangle type slacks. There's all sorts of stuff you can do after you learn the slack trapeze. And I do think that's an important trick you should all learn. So uh, hopefully the video helped. Let me know what else you guys want to see. And I guess until next time, I'll see you guys later.